Hi, I'm Blake with the City of Tallahassee. The city is committed to its customers having the best possible customer service and the highest quality drinking water. In an effort to conserve water and assist customers in identifying potential excess water usage, customers are informed of unusual water consumption via notification by email or text. If you have received such a notice, there are several things you can do to check for leaks at your home or business. Now come with me to the water meter shop to look at some meters. Welcome to the water meter shop. Today, we're gonna to look at five different meters that are commonly found in the field here at the city of Tallahassee. They include two mechanical meters, two ultrasonic meters, and one mag meter. Let's start with this mechanical meter. The first meter we're gonna take a look at is a Badger mechanical. The reed is here at the top and can be read from left to right. The long hand in red is your dial indicator that goes all the way around to count to 10 gallons. Each space is one gallon. The leak indicator is just below that and can be found here. If it's spinning, it means one of two things. Either have a leak or you have water constantly being used somewhere. The second meter we're gonna take a look at is a mechanical Neptune. Just like the first, you can read from left to right for the total read of the meter. And then the long hand will indicate one gallon in between each counting all the way around to 10. The leak indicator for it is found over here on the left. If this leak indicator is moving, it means one of two things. Either there's a constant flow of water through the meter indicating a leak or something is using water. The third meter we're gonna take a look at is a digital ultrasonic meter. The read, just like before, can be lit read left to right. However, with this one, there is no leak indicator unless you cover this photosensing eye. After that, you'll have a constant readout in gallons per minute that is live and changes with the meter readout as it goes. The fourth meter we'll take a look at is another ultrasonic digital meter. And just like before, the read can be read from left to right Unlike the other meter though, this one has a current live readout always in focus, so there's no need to swap between screens. The fifth meter we're gonna take a look at is a mag meter with a digital readout. And just like all the others, the read starts from the left and reads over to the right. Unlike the others though, that have a dedicated leak indicator, the easiest way to tell if you have a leak is to watch your last digit and see if it's moving. Just like with your leak indicator, if the digit is going up, you either have a leak or the meter is showing constant usage of water. One discrepancy you may find when reading your meter versus reading your bill would be the sea gallon billing. With the city of Tallahassee, we bill via sea gallons. One sea gallon is equal to 100 gallons. So in this case, you would ignore the ones place and the tens place, and this would be your billable read, 19744. That's what should match for your bill or a previous number for your last bill. So this is an exposed breakdown of what you'll find inside of your meter box. We'll start at the front where the city head is. This is where your city service ties into your meter and feeds water. Water will then flow in this direction through your meter where we'll get a reading and send it out via a module. This will get sent to billing so they can calculate your bill every month. From there, the water will continue flowing through this customer shutoff valve and into the customer side of plumbing. This valve is also how you can turn your water on or off if you have an emergency or a leak. Any point Past this valve is considered customer property and thus customer responsibility. Now we're at our customer's house, so let's look at the meter inside the meter box. First things, we're gonna lift this lid up while being careful not to damage the meter. This sends out a billing read every month for billing purposes. Next, we can inspect the meter, look at our leak indicator, see that we don't have a leak. We can check our full readout here at the top. We can operate our customer valve to turn the water on or off in case of an emergency. And we can also see where our customer pipe starts and where customer responsibility takes over. You can set up an account on TileGov.com to monitor your daily usage, or if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you reach us at 891 for you.